Welcome YouTube. Welcome Facebook. We are live in three locations smoothly right now. Okay, let me turn off my holding screen. Okay, off with the title, off with the message, off with the logo, off with my name. Okay, welcome to my vlog live episode 9 where I share my favorite videography gear and video editing software. Okay, yesterday, yesterday, or rather the day before, I went live and demonstrated my favorite mobile video editing software or rather video editing app, okay, CapCut, and then I demonstrated how to use it on the Android phone. Okay, I demonstrated on the phone and then cast it onto my MacBook Pro screen, MacBook Pro screen, and from the screen, it goes into the YOLO box, and from the YOLO box, it 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 streams to three platforms: YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Okay, that's where we are right now: YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Okay, so in this video, in this stream, I would like to demonstrate how I mirror my Android screen onto my MacBook Pro. Okay, there are many ways to do it, many, many. Okay, I have already done one, one method to mirror the Android screen onto the MacBook Pro using the AirDroid app. Okay, click the link in the description to watch that tutorial. Alright. Also, if you missed the previous stream, the one that I demonstrated how to edit my videos on a mobile phone with my favorite video editing app, again, click on the link in the description to watch that stream. Okay, it's still there. Now, if you want to leave any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section and it will appear here in the yellow box okay so okay i notice when i turn my head my voice becomes softer so i try to keep close to my mic okay now so feel free to leave your comments and questions i want to see some comments here okay this tab is empty right now okay so before that, let me show you what, what I mean. Okay, let me zoom into my Android phone. Okay, can you see? Right, so, so you see my screen, my Android screen on my MacBook Pro. So when I move it, it follows, right? It's quite, it's quite instantaneous. There is a lag, of course. If I move fast, you can you can see the lag, right? Really, you can see the lag when I move faster. But if I move slowly, it's quite acceptable. All right, how how does it work? It's going through the Wi-Fi right now, with the the room Wi-Fi that, that I have right here. Okay, and and this is so this is wireless actually. So if I can just show you wireless, I just pull pull out my my power charger yep it's totally wireless so this was the app I demonstrated yesterday right a video editing app or rather my favorite video editing app that I recommend everyone and the one that I teach in my smartphone videography class okay so now in this episode I'm supposed to demonstrate a rather document how I mirror the Android phone onto the MacBook Pro. Okay, to do that, I will first of all shut down. I will show my face first. Okay, I will turn off my app that is running right now. And turn it off.
Okay. Turn off the app. So that I can start from the beginning. Okay. So let's start from the beginning. This method is called this AirDroid to Mac method is called the zoom method. Okay, I call this the zoom method. Okay, so here's here's how it goes. Okay, on my Mac. Okay, I'll show you my Mac now. I'll show you picture in picture of my Mac. Okay, so you can see a small version of me. Okay, on my Mac, I'll go into my zoom. Okay, activate zoom, and then I'll click on. I'll tap, I'll click on start a new meeting. Okay, then I'll have a webcam visual of myself. And the next thing is I want to connect my phone to Zoom. Okay, so on the desktop Zoom, I will have to send an invite to myself. So in the menu page, I tap on invite on meeting. Let me go closer. On the main menu, go to meeting, scroll down, and click on invite. Okay, now we have two choices to invite our contacts or via email. So I'm going to tap on email okay here I'll make the screen smaller okay I'm using Gmail so I'm gonna tap on Gmail and then my Gmail opens up okay I'm going to email to myself I'm tapping my own email okay what's what's in the email is the zoom link and the password so I click on send Okay, it's sending now. And uh, on my phone, I am going to receive the email. Okay, it's here. Okay, I click on the link in the email. I just open up my Gmail and I'm going to cl click on the phone we call tap. tap on the zoom link and then it asked me to select the zoom app okay now my zoom app is opening up okay that means a prerequisite is you have to install zoom on your mac and the zoom app on your phone okay you need to have both installed all right, so now on the desktop, on the desktop, I can see my phone invitation here. So that's me, the host on top, and that's the participant, okay, which is my phone. All right, and now I want to, I want to share, I want to show the screen on my phone. Okay, so how do I do it? Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, let the camera focus. Come on, focus. Sometimes it works unless it doesn't. Okay, manual focus. All right. So on the Zoom app, there is a share a share can you see the share why is it not zoomed okay there's a share button here so when i tap on a share button i get this message it's a bit bright so i'm let me lower the brightness so you can see it Too dark now. Yeah. 
Yep, so the message says only the hosts can share in this meeting. Okay, that brings us back to our desktop. So on the desktop, at the bottom here in the zoom panel, we also have a share screen. Click on the up arrow and then select multiple participants can share simultaneously. So tap on it. Okay, now go back to let's okay I'm not happy with my focus let's go back to the phone okay let's acknowledge this and let me see oh okay so focus so now the share button is gone all I have to do is I'm still inside the zoom app as you can see um, okay now just tap anywhere and then the share button will appear okay this auto autofocus is not doing its work very well okay so I will have to manually focus okay this is bad this is bad okay tap and then tap on the share button and then I get a menu the menu say I mean see you can share so many things but right now we are interested to share only the screen okay so I tap on screen and then it says exposing sensitive info during casting and recording so I'll just say start now it's just a warning not to share too many secrets right so now now I can see my phone screen on the Mac right as I swipe across so if I go in to uh, website now okay this is my website I'm going to show you something so when I present I will make the desktop full screen okay just simply tap on the full screen button and you have it full screen here okay let me show my face on the other side okay now that's not all the, the beauty of this Zoom app is this because I am demonstrating how to use the software so it's good that I have annotation so if you can see I can zoom in now if I can zoom in here at the bottom there is an arrow okay if I tap on this arrow there you go you see annotation annotation hello annotation share audio and stop share so if I want to stop sharing the screen I just tap on stop share if I want to share the audio I'll turn the audio on especially when I'm doing a video editing demonstration I need to hear the audio so I will just turn it on right and now annotation is the interesting part okay you can see this is exactly like our desktop zoom we can spotlight we can draw we can highlight and so on okay so so I found out this is a very 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 good way to conduct an Android video editing class online okay if I can show you okay so I'm gonna select the pen pen tool and I, will, I can start drawing can you see okay it's almost instantaneous so if I want to select highlight tool I can start highlighting but one thing to note once I do that the screen behind it is is dead already. I can't 
I can't scroll it anymore. I can only highlight it. If I want to, this is a web page, remember behind. So if I want to scroll down, I can't. I can't scroll down. I just keep drawing. Whenever my finger touches the screen, I keep drawing. So I have to stop the annotation, and all the drawing will disappear, and then I can move the web side behind. All right. That means, in other words, I can only control the app when the annotation is there. So when the annotation appears, my app is frozen. Okay, at that spot. Okay, so if I want to clear, I just tap on clear. Okay, so now stop annotation. And yeah, correct. So that's that's my f this is one of my favorite way of sharing the Android app. Okay, let me see what else I need to tell you. Right. Okay. Yeah, there's a more a few more things to get a stable stable transmission from the phone to the Mac. Okay, let me show you. Okay, <coughs> let's go back to my face. Yep. Zoom backwards and see my face. Right, so this is one of my favorite way of uh, mirroring, mirroring. It sounds very weird, huh? American way and uh, British way. So this is one of my favorite way to mirror my Android screen to the Mac, and I discovered that to do it smoothly without any lag or rather minimum lag, there is still a lag, but to reduce the lag, that we need two things. The Wi-Fi must be stable in your room. And secondly, on the phone, I actually reduced the resolution. My Samsung Galaxy S10 has got three different resolutions. One very high, one mid, and one very low. Okay, so right now it's in the middle middle resolution. Okay, because if I put it at a high resolution, that is plenty of lag, right? It's taking up too much resources. Okay, so right if if you <laughs> if you like this so far click the thumbs up if you have any comments leave them in the comment if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment section and share this video with your friends let me check your comments now okay there are no comments no viewers i know because i i'm i am broadcasting at the most unpopular time where people are not online okay according to what I learned the best time to stream is 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. and right now it's about 5 30 p.m. okay I procrastinated so I have no viewers all right and this video might be edited for my YouTube channel so I am going to end it like this so if you have not done so subscribe this is Adrian Lee from videolane.com see you in the next one okay usually at the end of the stream I will demonstrate um, the setup that I use for the stream but it so happens that this is the exact same setup that I used yesterday okay zoom to yellow box so I will not be going through again I've already demonstrated that and, and I've already edited that cut short or rather edit down that video into a, a four minute video to show you how I connect zoom to yellow box it's going to be up on YouTube tonight so stay tuned for it I'll put a link in the description here as well okay so I hope to continue this live stream again every time I I test a new streaming gear okay to see which one is best including cameras and mic so sometimes you you see a lousy visual sometimes you see a lousy recording sometimes you see 
a lousy sound you hear a lousy sound because I'm testing so once I found a good one I will stick with it okay this mic right now is not so good when I shift my head I become softer okay I don't like this way of this way of uh, recording my voice I have to keep my mouth right in front and then when I talk too loud it breaks right it picks and then when I breathe down it picks up all my wind noise okay so I mean this mic is ideal if I were to if I don't wear it the normal way right if I wear it the normal way it's fine because when I turn my head the mic turns with me so actually this mic is okay um, it's the user that is not using it properly right see now we have turn my head my voice didn't reduce because the countryman mic is following my face it's a user problem all right now I've prepared the stream is over okay if you want to stick behind and talk with me go ahead because I am going to test something new. Okay, there, there's going to be this message coming across. The show has ended. You are watching the bloopers. Okay, okay, enough of funny being funny okay this is adrian lee from video lane dot com thanks for watching people from twitch people from facebook and people from youtube hope to see you in the next one